You are? Yeah. I'm Batman. For everybody here to just see Michael Keaton as Batman, worth ticket price. Worth the ticket price. Go on my YouTube subscribers, and you guys are having an amazing start to your week because we got a brand new special movie review for you guys this week, and it is the upcoming DC's The Flash. I got a chance to see the movie early. Oh my goodness! Shout out to Warner Brothers and AMC. Movie star Ezra Miller. Michael Keaton, oh gosh, just gonna say right off the bat, no spoilers in this video at all. You don't gotta worry about me spoiling a movie even though I hear the movie got like several different endings and shit so you won't even see the full version of it until it comes out next Friday. But as far as the version I saw, is the movie good? This movie is an event film. This movie it has everything. Humor, it's got heart, it's got good lessons, it's actually got real good morals to it. At the center point, this is at the center of it all, Barry Allen's story. And I kind of like that a lot because prior, I didn't see no new footage for this movie at all. I saw the first trailer and I was like, done, I'm sold. But now, like seeing it in its entirety, I'm just like, at the end of the day, this is still Barry Allen's story, still the center focus of this whole thing. And it's still good. Even of the follow, you really relate to Barry Allen, what he's trying to do in this whole thing. And the fact that Michael Keaton's in the movie, it's kind of as a support character. Best support character ever, because cause this. Yeah, he, he just got better with age, Michael Keaton. I'm not gonna lie, when he like said said the lie, yeah, I'm Batman. I, I, I just smiled from, I just, I just smiled. I just smiled, I'm fanning out. I just smiled. I love Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is my Batman. Like, of course we got Kevin Conroy, RIP. He ought to be the voice of Batman. But for me, the 89 Batman, nothing stopping that at all. He, he was he was awesome. Barry Allen was good though too. The pros cons. Well, I believe that the Flash comes out in theaters next Friday. You, you got to see this movie. This movie. I feel like if you're a DC fan, you'll be like, this is a good send off for this whole DC rework they're trying to do and shit. Just like a casual movie fan is just like, I just want to see movie. Is it good? Worth checking out. Here's why. Adding in the movie, Ezra Miller as Barry Allen, the Flash. I liked him a lot. He was funny, he was relatable, and the fact that he really showed off his actor range, the fact that what he's trying to do, he rides that balance of not being like, you know, like, I guess annoying. Barry Allen, it really is the heart and soul of this whole movie. Like, he pretty has to carry this whole thing, and he does it very well. He has a very compelling and motivated story that you're following, that you're just like, anybody will watch and just be like, yeah, I, I, I totally get what you're doing, why you're doing it, and I feel it, and it makes me conflicted, because when I do the same thing. Now, of course, the bat in the room, Michael Keaton. Amazing. Man, Michael Keaton just, he just, oh man, even the when he first gets on this, when you first see him, we first get the Wayne Manor, his first action scene that you see him in, before he even suits up in the bat suit, was just like, holy, yeah. And then when he was on the bat suit, it's even better. Not the Van Boy out too much because this is Flash's story, but I'm just saying, Michael Keaton, like, it, when they're playing the Batman theme and shit from 89. Da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna slow down for my fucking come. <laughs> Are other characters in the movie some surprise characters, some surprise cameos? You're like, oh, you're in the movie, dope. Oh, you're in the movie, too great. Plus, I guess we're talking about Batman, Ben Affleck's in the movie, too for, you know, and I'm not gonna say how much is in the movie, I don't wanna spoil it. Since he's in the movie too as Batman, I was like, this is why you're an amazing Batman too. This is why I'm mad that the Snyderverse is just gonna get erased because I would love to see a solo Ben Affleck Batman movie. He is like definitive, like comic book meets Arkham Asylum Batman. I love them. The plot in the movie, more or less, okay, without spoiling it too much, it does follow loosely, but it takes liberties from the Flashpoint comic book and shit. All this, what you need to know is that Barry Allen, he's trying to fix something in his past, but when he goes back in time and does that, creates ripple effect, and now the future that he's stuck in, it's all fucked up now, and bad things are happening. And now he needs to team up with other super people and shit, including Michael Keaton's Batman, to try to undo the shitty shit that he's done. That's me like talking very vague on this plot, but yeah, that's like the gist of it. Okay, Frozen movie. Okay, this movie does have the memory and the nostalgia, and it's like, it works, 
it does. I'll say this cautiously. It's like, if you're one of the people that's just like, I need more than nostalgia to carry this movie, it does do that. But it's still the part of me that's just like, because it had those nostalgia berries in it, I'm like, it, it, that just elevates it for me. Because it knows, the movie knows what to do, how to use those memory berries. Not only just for the Michael Keaton shit, but also like for this whole DC universe that we've had thus far from Man of Steel all the way up to this one. Acknowledge that, yeah, that universe happened. We are in the Snyderverse. That was dope too. I love that. I love the callbacks. Like, oh yeah, this this, this feels like kind of like an Infinity War and Endgame mixed together for the DC universe that this Flash movie is doing. The core, the emotional story is so good. Was talking about fate and destiny, how it's kind of just like, yeah, our past is what makes us who we are, but don't let that like define you and shit and sometimes things are just inevitable some things are just kind of meant to happen you just can't change them real good lessons that made me be like oh it's just i'm learning shit it's in me here and the emotional moments in the movie too that i was like <sighs> I i'm not crying the movie does deal with the multiverse and how they use it and explain it way better than anything Marvel's done, I'll say. Because I'll say that the way they represent the multiverse with DC is something that I haven't seen done before on the big screen or small screen, so that makes it like, ah, oh, finally DC won up Marvel. Good job. You get to the very end of the movie. At the very end of the movie, had this, like, surprise cameo, like, the whole audience was just like, the whole audience was in gas, but we all clapped too, so you kind of can kind of like, oh shit, what was that ending? Oh god. At the end of the day, the Flash movie, I had a great time with this movie. Everybody did their, brought their A game to this movie. It was a great send off to the old DC universe. Ezra Miller did a great job as the Flash. Michael Keaton is still the best Batman ever, even after 30 years or so. He's still the Batman. And I love them. Great story, good action scenes in the movie, good humor, good heart, good lot of everything. I'm gonna put my fandom out. My fandom's gonna show. I'm gonna say it. The Flash is definitely a very strong 10 out of 10, which is fucking awesome. I'm gonna lie, I was teetering. Like, is it a 9 out of 10? But I'm like, if I'm like embracing Mike, I love Michael Keaton. He then is a 10. What can I say? The Flash, especially in theaters next Friday, you will see it, you're not gonna see it, type below. Let me know, let's talk about it. We're gonna do a spoiler video for it next week when it officially comes out, we see like the full release movie. So will be back for that, but next tomorrow, Transformers. See you then. As always, subscribe. Until next time.